Hi everyone, it's Albert. Today let's solve the leak code contest question, cell diminishing value color both. The question statement. So we have an in inventory of different color balls, and there's a customer that wants to make uh, orders of balls of any color. And when selling balls to the customer, the value of the ball is determined as the number of balls of that color that we currently have in the inventory. So let's say uh, we initially have six yellow balls in the inventory and the customer will pay six for the first uh, yellow ball. And after this transaction, there will be uh, five yellow balls left. So the next time when we sell the yellow ball, it will be uh, value at five. And we are given an integer array uh, inventory where each element in inventory represents the number of balls of the ith color that we initially own. And there's also another input orders, which is uh, the total number of balls that the customer uh, wants. And we are allowed to sell the balls in any order. And we have to return the maximum total value we can earn after selling orders of color balls. And the answer might go large, so we have to return the result uh, modulo 10 to the power of 9. So for this example, we have two different color of balls. The first color has uh, two balls, and the second color has five. And the customer wants to buy four balls in total. And the best way to sell the balls is to sell the first color one time and the second color three times. So the total value would be uh, 2 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3, which is 14. The intuition to solve this question, the key algorithm is like a greedy approach. We want to sell the balls uh, with the most amount first in order to gain the highest value. And the key equation to calculate the total value is the arithmetic series sum which is uh, the sum of n plus n minus 1 plus uh, all the way up to n minus d is uh, n plus n minus d times d plus 1 divided by 2. And later we will see how this equation come into play with the algorithm. Now let's look at the code. Okay, and first is to reverse sort the inventory array because we want to start with the balls with the biggest amount. And we will add a zero at the end of the inventory array as the uh, terminating condition. A result variable is what we will return at the end. And k is the number of color of balls, which has the biggest amount. And we will see how k works uh, in the next section. And going through the array, if the current color has more balls than the next color, then first we will check if we have enough orders to make this many transactions. If we do, then define div as inventory i minus inventory i minus one. And the total value we can make from this transaction is the arithmetic series sum. And we will subtract orders by k times diff. And if we don't have uh, enough orders, then we will first calculate the quotient and remainder of orders divided by k. And then we will add the arithmetic sum to uh, result, and then the remainder to the result as well. And finally is to return result module uh, 10 to the power of nine. And at the end of the for loop, we have to increment k as well. And it will be more clear to see the code in action. Okay, and here we'll be looking at example three. So first is to reverse sort the inventory array. So the largest element would be uh, at the front, since we want to sell the balls with the largest amount first. And result is initialized to zero and k is set to 1. And the meaning of k is, in the inventory, 
how many color of balls has the largest amount. So initially, we only have one color in the inventory has the largest number of balls, which is 10. And first calculate the difference between the first and second element, which is 2. And this condition holds, so it means that we are able to make two transactions uh, with the current orders. And the total values of these transactions will be the arithmetic sum, which is uh, 10 plus 9. So we will add uh, 19 into result. And k will be updated from 1 to 2, because after these transactions, the first element will become 8. So we will have two a group of eight in the inventory. And we will subtract the two transactions from orders. So it will become 18. So after this transaction, the inventory array will become this. And the current result is 19. OK, and following the same process, now is to calculate the difference between the second and third element. The difference is two as well. But notice that. Now we have two colors of ball, which they both had uh, eight balls. And this condition still holds. It means that we are able to sell these two colors of ball at the same time. So the total value we can get from this transaction is k times the arithmetic sum. And the result will be updated from 19 to 49. And k will become 3 and orders will become 14. So this is the inventory after the last transaction. And following the same logic, the difference between the third and fourth element is still 2. So we will add k times the arithmetic sum to result. And after this tra transaction, result will become 82. And k is now 4 and orders is 8. OK, and for the last element, this if condition still holds. So we will sell uh, k times the arithmetic sum. And then result will be updated from 82 to 110. And now orders will become 0. And if at any point in time we don't have enough orders to make the transactions, then we will run this part of the code. First is to calculate the quotient and remainder from orders divided by k, and then update result accordingly. And this will conclude the algorithm. Finally, let's review. So the core algorithm to solve this question is a greedy approach that we want to sell the balls with the most amount first. And then a key equation to calculate the value we can get is the arithmetic series sum, which is uh, this equation. The time complexity of this approach is log linear, since we have to perform sorting at the beginning. And the space complexity is constant. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one.